guys, I'm Silver and welcome to Untumbra. Alright, this isn't like anything I've ever played before. This is a, like, kind of a text-based adventure, but different, um, it's really interesting. It's a horror game. I'm excited. It's supposed to be really scary. And, uh, here we go. I don't know what to expect, really. Warning, this game has content which you might find offensive or and or disturbing. Awesome. Also, the game is very hard and unforgiving, so don't be surprised to have trouble solving the riddles. This is not... Flappy Bird or Casual Genocide, in order to finish it, you will need to think outside of the box. Don't get used to any rules of the game as they constantly change, bend, and twist. Think of it as the dark souls of adventure games. You will fail over and over. Get used to it. It's fine. Everything you will experience is, ex is exactly as planned. And remember, there is always there is always a solution. Awesome. You woke up in a dungeon. It smells like death itself. You hear distant sounds of scratching, and it's heading your way. What do you do? Run in the other direction. Fuck that shit. I'm not sticking around to figure out what that is. As you run down the corridor, you find yourself in a metal vault. You can hear something running behind you. If you don't act, act fast, it'll reach you before- <gasps> Holy shit! <laughs> you haven't locked doors behind you. You're dead, Joseph. I guess I'm Joseph. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's run in the other direction. That went well last time. Um, go back? I, I, but ha there wasn't an option to lock the doors. Was there? Can I? Ow! Okay, this appears to be a door switch. Which you quickly pull. Doors behind you close and you hear strong a strong bump and a loud inhuman scream. What was that thing? I didn't... I was busy reading the... I thought I was going to stick around. Alright. Um, go, go forward, go right, or go back. Um, I can't go back, I don't think, because I just locked the door. Let's go forward. Reality around you bends and twists. You find yourself in the middle of a forest. There is a path leading forward, but someone is, is in your way. He is wearing a, an odd mask. It's not a mask. What? Well, which is it? You just said it's a mask. Oh, that's creepy. What's that in the distance? There's like two of them. Um, I can't click on anything in the forest. I guess I'm gonna go forward. The man speaks. Don't go there. Please, you can't. You will be hurt. I won't let you go. I love you so much. You are everything I have. Alright, guy. Um, you could at least, like, get to know me before you decide to be in love with me. Um, punch him. <laughs> you punch him in the mask face. You take. He takes the punch. His eyes bleed. Goodness, I guess I can really punch. You feel a sudden rush of satisfaction. You want more. Kick him. You kick him in the stomach and he bends in pain, but quickly recovers to his initial stance. Blood is pouring down from underneath the mask. It feels so good. I don't want to kill him. Aw, oh, I have to kill him. You slice his throat. He chokes and gags with his blood, yet remains standing in your way. Just die already. Kill him, break his neck. This is dark. His neck's naps like a dry branch. He died. He is still standing even after death, but he is an but he's an obstacle no more. Ecstasy overwhelms your mind and body. That's so creepy. You come to a crossroad. There's something in the dark. You can hear it moving beside and beside the bushes and trees. Uh go left. Holy shit, what was that? What the hell? That's so creepy! Through bushes, bushes and trees, you come across a small cottage. A presence is walking around the house, ensuring no one will pass. Bye. I'm not gonna mess with you. That's some creepy shit right there. Oh, right. What? As you follow the path, you encounter a child standing in the middle of the road. It's your son! He is crying! His eyelids are sewed with barbed wire! But I don't trust it. I have to rescue my son, though. As you move towards your mutil mutilated child, a runic barrier flashes before you. Barbed wire spew from your son's eyes, quickly covering his whole body. You can 
cannot force yourself to cross the barrier. You are helpless, worthless, a pitiful excuse for a father. Daddy, why won't you help me? Daddy, I'm scared. It hurts so much. What the fuck? <laughs> you cannot force yourself to. Oh. That's <laughs> so messed up. So I just leave? That's the only option is just to leave? Sorry, son. I've got other stuff to do. Alright, I guess I'm gonna talk to you. You step forward and the creature instantly blinks right in the- blinks right in front of you, inches away from your face. It doesn't inter interact, but all its eyes stare at you. You feel uneasy. Suddenly you find yourself in a weird void. I am pride. Bow before me. Kneel and beg. Ask for forgiveness. Speak, you disgusting maggot. Describe what a wretched pool of vomit you are. Go to hell. We are in hell, silly willy. <laughs> Your own private, personal hell. Ah, uh, Fine, I'm stupid. Of course you are. You are a brainless, mindless bag of meat and bones. My mother never loved me. <laughs> you bet she didn't. You are a disgrace. You ruined her life. I have no future. Oh, of course you have. And a bright one. You'll live doing pointless things and you'll die, leaving behind nothing but rotting meat and bones. You'll die in mist, unnoticed. Huh? What? Can you repeat that? I am weak and miserable. What did you say? Say it louder. I can't hear you. I am weak and miserable! I said louder! I am weak and miserable! <laughs> That's the spirit. Ready to die? Sure. And I grant you death. You are now free from me, for a time, broken and bleeding, crawling at the bottom. Now you have the chance to rise beyond. See you soon. Die. <laughs> Pride won't pay your bills, won't feed your kids, won't make the wound. Something, something, something. It's cut off, I don't know why. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I'm so confused, alright. Alright, let's see what happens if I go right- Oh, I forgot to lock the door. Alright, 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 I locked the door. Oh, okay, alright. Alright, now go right. You enter a hallway, there are dozens of doors on both sides of the corridor. At the end you see a wall of water? The liquid wall is still far away, the corridor is still silent, you hear only your own breathing. Step forward. What is that noise? You move deeper into the hallway. As you step, all the doors burst into violent knocking and bumping. You feel endangered. Can I observe it now? No, it's still far away. Uh, I'm gonna die probably, but I'll go forward again. You move deeper into the hallway. As you step, all the door. All right. Can I observe it now? Damn it! One more time. Ah, there it is. Shadowy, shadowy being manifest in front of you and quickly starts tearing your body like paper. You die in agony, Joseph, being butchered alive. This is so weird. Just let me go in the house. <gasps> oh! Okay. Interior is a mess. There is moss on the walls and most of the furniture has rotten. What is that noise? Oh, and an old lady is walking back and forth. You can smell the metallic scent of blood from her. What was what was that? That's such a creepy noise. Oh, what's that? There are pests in my basement. Bring me their teeth and I will share some secret with secrets with you. I need at least ten. Oh! Okay. Is that collecting teeth? There are maggots everywhere. It stinks in here. You have four maggots to- okay. Five, six, seven. Damn it! Damn it! I was clicking on you! Eight, nine, ten. You poke them with your finger and they blow out blood. How cool is something? I don't know why it cuts it off. Alright, um, can I go upstairs? Can I go back? Do I have to kill them all? 
Do I get bonus points for bringing extras? Eh? Eh? Oh, what was that? I clicked on something. I heard a noise. Damn it! I'm not even trying to get them anymore. I'm just trying to figure out how to. Alright. Alright. Aha! There we go. There we go. There's your teeth. You can press pass safely through a silent corridor. What? What? Safely through a silent corridor. I don't know what that means. I guess I'm going back outside. Uh huh. Maybe it means the corridor from before? Maybe I have to figure out a way to make it the, like the knocking not happen. Why would that make sense? I don't know. Is there anything I can click on here? I guess not. I don't know. Step forward. Is there a way to... <gasps> oh! Okay! So I just have to wait for the knocking to stop. And then I go forward. No wonder, because it did it right, like, on the second one, the second time I died from that thing, and that's because I didn't wait for it to go silent. You almost reached the end. Corridor is silent. You can hear only your own breathing. Patience, young Padawan. <laughs> Yes, you've seen the movie, huh? Yes, yes I have. You are underwater at the bottom. Surprised you discover that you can breathe. Water is strangely thick, like fresh jelly. It also has a very foul taste. Gross. Um, is there anything I can get in here? Or did I just, did I just go for a swim? Is that all that was? I just wanted to go for a swim? Oh, okay. I thought by swim up it meant go back to the corridor, but I guess not. The beach is covered with dead bodies. You notice none of them have a face, just numbers burned into their skin where the face was supposed to be. Your clothes are dripping wet. Oh god, okay. Go to the jungle or follow the beach. Hmm, decisions. Oh, what the hell. <laughs> Alright. I am lazy, but violence and pain motivate me. If you want me to flap my wings and fly, you need to hurt me. Don't worry, I enjoy it. More, more, I want more. Smack, smack me like one of your French girls. That's not even quoting it correctly. More, more, I want more. Harder, harder, aw. Oh. Well, this is awkward. Alright. When are you going to be satisfied? You're not going to fly away, are you? How much do I have to hurt you? This is, this is weird. Look me in the eyes and say you didn't enjoy it. Oh. Does that mean I'm close to being done? Come on. Come on. Just, like, finish if you're going to. Wait, Jesus. Come on! Alright, apparently that's leading nowhere. That was just bizarre. And now I feel dirty. Alright, um, I think I'm gonna stop here, guys. I'll maybe play this again if you guys want me to and go into the jungle next time. Goodness, this game is so weird, but really creepy too. 
and I want to know what happens. <laughs> yeah, let me let me know in the comments what you think, and uh, maybe I'll play it again. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye for now.